Hi everybody, I am your Prasad. Today's our topic is Injection Cycle Flowchart. Injection Cycle Flowchart. This is very very important topic from the third chapter in the first unit. The title of the flowchart is Flowchart for Injection Cycle. Flowchart for Injection Cycle. This is in the textbook it has given as Initial Configuration. A basic configuration of the flowchart. It seems to be very big for us, but it is a very small thing in the computer circuit, right? Motherboard and all. Here, the flowchart starts something like this. Start. SC should be zero. First, initially, SC means sequence counter. Sequence counter, we need to make it into zero. From that, we will start. And we will change the program counter instruction into AR nothing but address register program counter data is transfers to AR address counter instruction instruction cycle right in my previous video also I told you instruction cycles we have four fetch decode read and execute we need to fetch the instruction from the memory because instructions and the code are in the memory we need to execute that is the done by control unit with the processor and we will execute and we will decode we will fetch we will decode we will read and we will execute same thing will be done with the flowchart we are explaining program counter data is read in the address register AR right the blue blue marker are my explanation markers this black pen are in the textbook diagram right then Next one, at t is equal to 0, t naught means clock pulse t0, this will happen. At that point of time, at that clock pulse, this will happen. Program counter data will move to address register. Then here we have m, m of AR. m stands for memory of address register. It transfer into instruction register because we need to execute the instructions. Instruction register will contain the Effective address, direct address data will be here. IR stands for instruction register. In my previous video also, I told you the full form of this. And PC is incremented to 1. Program counter is incremented to 1. At time T1. This is time pulse. T1 and T0. Next here, these two stages are called fetching part. Right? In my previous video, I told theoretical part. This is through a diagram, nothing but a flowchart explanation for that. Very simple if you understand. These two phases, these two T0 and T1, T0 time clock pulse, T1 time clock pulse comes under fetching part because we are fetching, we are taking from the program counter as well as memory of address register to instruction. We have taken. Right. First part is over. Second here decode. Decode operation code. At the end of my video, I will show you this from the near vision. You also put your mobile into horizontal version so that it will be visible clearly. Here, decode, operation code in IR. IR means instruction register. 12 to 14, 14 means 3 bit address will be there here. And that second thing, IR, instruction register 0 to 11 means 12 bits. Here we have 12 bits. That is Transfer, this indicates transfer to AR. AR means address register. In address register, that instructions will be taken, transferred. Right here, IR, instruction register 15, only one bit. That will be shifted to I. I stands for instruction mode or address mode. If it is 0, this is direct. If it is 1, that is indirect. Right here, decoding will be done. Decoding and reading. Right, second phase, second instruction cycle, phase or sub cycles already told you in my previous video, decoding part and reading part will be done at T2 time clock pulse, T2. Here in my previous video also I told you this one, computer instructions, computer means motherboard system instructions, or are instruction formats are three types. First one is memory reference instruction, memory reference instruction. Second one is register reference instruction and the third one input output instruction. Right? It has three modes, three parts. 
फर्स्ट वन इज जीरो टू लेवन मीन ट्वेल्व बिट एड्रेस विल बी देर फॉर एड्रेस फॉर स्टोरिंग एड्रेस इट यूज ट्वेल्व बिट टोटली सिक्सटीन बिट एंड ट्वेल्व टू फोर्टीन मीन्स थ्री बिट यूज फॉर आप कोड आप कोड मीन्स ऑपरेशन कोड राइट ऑपरेशन कोड दट इज जीरो 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 टू वन वन जीरो अप टू सिक्स राइट हियर दट आई हैव मैंशन आप कोड नथिंग बट ऑपरेशन कोड जीरो जीरो वन से जीरो डी जीरो डी कोड मीन्स डी इट इंडिकेट्स विथ लेटर डी ए वेरिएबल वन डी वन जीरो जीरो वन डी वन जीरो वन वन डी जीरो वन जीरो डी टू जीरो वन वन डी थ्री वन जीरो जीरो डी फोर वन जीरो वन डी फाइव डी सिक्स एंड डी सेवन डी डी सेवन इज दिस वन आई विल टेल यू मेमोरी रिफरेंस इंस्ट्रक्शन सो फर्स्ट ट्वेल्व बिट्स फॉर एड्रेस एड्रेस पर्पज इट विल यूज ट्वेल्व बिट्स एंड दिस थ्री बिट्स इज यूज फॉर आप कोड नथिंग बट ऑपरेशन कोड एंड वन बिट आई स्टैंड फॉर इंस्ट्रक्शन आर एड्रेसिंग मोड If it is zero, this is direct addresses. Zero direct D. Remember. If it is one indirect I. Right. Remember like that. Keep some mnemonic. Right. Draw the diagram neatly. If you if you miss one two points, not a big issue. But explain clearly. Right. Second one is register reference instruction. In register reference instruction, register operation for twelve bits. Because it's a register reference instruction. Twelve bits. And three bits, one one one. Our code is one 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 only, right? Here we have zero 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 through one one zero from here to this. This many six conditions used in our code here in memory reference, right? Whereas register reference one one one. This last D seven part is here. That I will show you here. I'm just connecting the our old topic. And if it is zero, first flip flop. One flip flop. It is zero. That is direct. Right? I is zero. That is direct address. Direct address will be there. Effective address will be there. Effective address. We can take directly the instruction and we will execute it. Here third one input output instruction. Input output instruction. That is nothing but one. If it is one, that is indirect. Remember I, one I. Like that you keep mnemonic so that you can remember indirect address mode. Operation code one 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 same. If I is called one instruction mode, this I stands for instruction mode or addressing mode. A flip flop small cell. If it is zero, direct one indirect. So now coming to our topic. Here we have decoded first two. T one, T not, T one. In this time clock pulse, we have fetched, we have readed the data, we have transferred the data. Fetch, transfer, read, all are same. Here decoded, decoded, or read, read from IR to AR. This twelve bits, and here three bits. Here one bit. Next here decision. Here a special condition decision. Big rumors. decision right if d7 this area 111 if it is 1 it comes this side the diagram the flow chart will come this side that is register or our input output instruction right we will go this side if it is 1 again it will be input output it acts as input output instruction and it will execute see execution part will be done here at t3 time t execution part of input output instruction then again the it's over the sequence counter again change it to zero it transfer zero transfer into sequence counter again it will go back to here because it's a cycle instruction cycle right now if it is zero it will act as register reference instruction then again it will execute it will execute right the fourth phase at d3 right it will execute and again sequence counter zero is transfer into sequence counter sequence counter is should be cleared so that it will it will repeat again same steps here if d7 if this condition is zero then it will act as memory reference instruction again decision making because rhombus 
in flowchart we have learned from the our first years if it is i equal to 0 it will act as direct address right and in direct address nothing should be done the address is in address direct instruction is there we have taken the instruction and we will execute it nothing should be done at t3 time nothing should be done because it's a direct address and at t4 time clock bus it will execute again it will be executed fourth instruction instruction cycle execute right and memory reference instruction it will be done the instruction will be executed again sequence counter should make it into zero because it's a cycle again it should go back to here we need to connect to back from this condition and this condition and this condition again if i equal to one i told you i is equal to one one indirect address indirect address m of a means memory of address register that is transferred that is transfer move to a address register effective address again it will be executed the effective address instruction will be executed to do some task to do some work in my previous video also i told you very simple and it will be executed memory reference instruction also executed and again sequence counter become zero so here in t3 and here this part also t3 and this is also t3 rectangular boxes this is also t3 at this three paces the execution part will be forwarded here t4 so here execution part will be done here so in section side that blue color marker one are explanations And here red R previous topic instruction cycle fetch decode read and execute here and this is previous topic to connect this computer instruction instruction format these are three types this is the basic thing for connecting the subject this flowchart is main thing and blue color marker one are explanation for that explanations it starts with start as it's a flowchart you know from your first year draw neatly it's very very important all the best for your exam